Now let's turn to Europe. Northern Europe has been in a state of alarm all week. Two undersea cables were cut over the weekend, two cables in the Baltic Sea, one linking Germany to Finland and the other connecting Lithuania to Sweden. All four nations are NATO members, all of them support Ukraine, so all of them were quick to point the finger at Russia. The NATO members suspected sabotage. They accused Moscow of engaging in hybrid warfare and they have begun their investigations. In fact, they've also identified a suspect, a ship that could have cut the cables. But there's a small hiccup. The ship is not Russian, it's Chinese. Our next report explains. Two undersea cables in the Baltic Sea were cut over the weekend. These two cables, the BCS East-West Interlink connecting Sweden and Lithuania and the Sea Lion 1 connecting Finland to Germany. The Interlink cable was cut early on Sunday, around 10 a.m. local time. The Sea Lion 1 was damaged less than a day later, at about 4 a.m. on Monday morning. These incidents sent alarm bells ringing in Europe. A very clear sign that something is going on here. Nobody believes that these cables were accidentally cut. And I also don't care to believe in versions that it were anchors that accidentally caused the damage of these cables. So we have to conclude, without knowing exactly who did it, that it was a hybrid action. And we must also assume, without knowing it, of course, that it is sabotage. What I can confirm is, of course, that uh, the incident happened outside the island of Öland and another uh, outside the island of Gotland, that there has been ship movement in that region, uh, that uh, there is an uh, inquiry going on right now by the Swedish police authorities, and they're investigating this as an act of possible sabotage, but I can't speculate in specific vessels uh, the, uh, that could be involved at this, this stage. Investigations began immediately. The affected nations started to hunt for the culprits. All four nations are NATO members, so their allies are helping out. And one of them finally got a lead. Denmark is hot on the trail. The Danish Navy is shadowing a ship. The suspect vessel seems to have passed over both the cables that were cut around the exact time that they were damaged. This is the ship in question. It's a bulk carrier called the Yipeng-3. The ship is Chinese. The Yipeng-3 set sail from the Russian port of Ustluga on November 15th. It is travelling to Port Said in Egypt. The Danish Navy has been tracking it for a while, and they even announced this on social media. It isn't an outright accusation, but China gave its response earlier today. We are willing to maintain communication with the parties concerned in accordance with international law and jointly safeguard the safety of international seabed infrastructure. At the same time, we also hope that the normal navigational rights and legitimate interests of Chinese vessels will be effectively protected. Beijing says that it's willing to cooperate with any investigation, but the spokesperson added that the ship's navigational rights should be protected. It's a tense situation. Europe probably won't accuse China directly. Even though Beijing has a history of cutting cables, it keeps doing so in the east, around Taiwan. This isn't the first China-linked incident in the Baltic either. Last year, a Chinese ship cut undersea gas and telecom lines, linking Finland and Estonia. This week's cable cut occurred at a tense time. Ukraine has started firing missiles deep into Russian territory. Moscow has called it an escalation. No one is sure how Russia will respond. That is why Europe is jumping at shadows and seeing sabotage and hybrid warfare in every incident.